What up, y'all? It's Adonis DeRoe, the voice of Raymond Patabi from Broken Barbie Show. This one's for our hip-hop heads. Those collectors who, like us, have been looking for ways to urbanize their dolls a bit more. Because we all know Mattel don't cater to our hip-hop community with their current selection of doll fashions. Here's my haul review of 1-6 scale shoes for your male fashion dolls. Now, before we get into the review part, let me just draw your attention to why these are so significant to me. These aren't the regular wax shoes that can be wearing. These shoes are unique to hip hop culture. Shout out to all of you that know what I mean when I say that. But I know some of our international viewers might not be so familiar with what I'm talking about. So check it out. When I say unique to hip hop culture, this is what I mean. Hip hop is a lifestyle, not just a genre of music. The roots of hip hop go back to the urban black American youth who didn't have a voice in mainstream media during the early years of desegregation in the United States. Now, when Nike first started making Jordan sneakers, which was supposed to be athletic wear for basketball players, the young people of the urban black community started wearing the shoes as a fashion statement. Our fashion sense set the trend for what is now a mainstream event, and the same goes for Air Force One sneakers. The kids in the hood made it cool to wear them. The hip hop culture of the early 1980s is directly responsible for the success of the most popular Nike sneakers today. All these sneakers was irrelevant until those of us within the hip hop community started wearing them. That's why these sneakers are unique to hip hop. Now, I had to drop it on you like that because you had to understand the exclusivity of these shoes before we proceeded. All five of these pairs of shoes came from the same independent deal on eBay. I'll get into that later on, but let's jump into the review right quick. Okay, so the shoes I chose are Nike Air Force Ones and a few pairs of retro style Jordans. The material the shoes are made from feel like the vinyl they use for the usual Ken shoes Mattel makes, but the difference is that the shoes have crazy details like a tongue in the front that's able to move around, shoelaces that are actually laced into the shoes, you never find that nowhere. You could remove them and then replace them with other laces if you had some thin craft rope, but unless you're good with a needle to thread them back in, I don't suggest removing them. But the laces are long enough that you can tie them together like regular sneakers or loosen them up. We're just gonna keep them knotted and tuck them into the shoes because it looks neater this way. Each shoe has the realistic design and paint job that duplicates the realism of the actual shoe they're supposed to be a copy of. I mean, I'm not an advocate for bootlegging Jordans, but damn, these look better than the real things. Yo, Chinese people, they're real good at bootlegging stuff. Shout out to Chinese bootleggers. If you were an artist, you could get these kinds of shoes and customize them yourself to whatever color you like, whatever design you like. Sounds like a fun project. Well, I don't like doing stuff like that, but they will probably look real dope. Maybe I'll convince Gypsy to do that with some of these if I get a hold of some white ones. Yeah, I might do that. Each pair comes with a left and a right side, and they have designated sides just like real shoes, so you have to put the right shoe on the doll's foot, respectively. They're semi-hard in texture, but you can squeeze them and move the tongue back and forth. It won't break, they're real durable. One thing I noticed about these shoes is that they're a little bigger than Ken's shoes. They're advertised as 1-6 scale shoes, so hopefully they'll fit all the 1-6 scale male figures in your collection. Here's the closed mouth Steven. That's why he looks different. His feet are just regular Ken size feet. Here's the shoes I had on them. They look like a toy compared to these new shoes. <laughs> See how the Nikes are a little bit bigger? Now, the foot fits in the shoe, but there's a little room in the back where his skinny ankles are. He might fit them better with socks. Anyone know you get some socks for Ken? Leave the comment down below. They don't shake and they don't slip off the foot, so he can wear them if you're not too bothered by the fact they're a bit big. Guys can get away with wearing shoes that make their feet look bigger. So, I think Steven or Ken dolls could get away with this look. It seems fine to me. And I think he looks way better in these shoes instead of the usual boring Mattel shoes he normally wears. On his feet, you can't tell they're a little big. Here he is in another pair. Let's try these J's on. 
I think the laces are cool because you could probably use them to adjust the tightness of the fit. I think the high tops are better because it camouflages how much room are in the shoes. I mean, they're not cut specifically for Ken's feet. They're really for action figures, so I'm not surprised they don't fit them snugly. But we can live with this fit because they look exclusive and it's better that they're too big than too small. You feel me? Here's an articulated Ken doll and we're gonna try some low top ones on him first. Yeah, yeah, I know they don't match. He just trying them on, don't judge him. So here's how they fit. They're still a little roomy, but he can absolutely get away with it. They don't look bad at all, especially with long pants. Can't tell he's got room in the back and they don't fall off his feet. So that's the most important thing. What y'all think? Good fit? I really think they look better than what Mattel is giving up. Alright, who recognizes this dude? It's my guy, Doll Channel Guru. His feet are different from Ken. That's because he wasn't made by Mattel. He squeezed into these loafers by Mattel, but we're gonna see if he can get in these new Nikes. But we're gonna see if these new Nikes fit better because they're a little bigger. Here's some high top Jordans on them. These other retro ones were hard to get over his ankles. All the shoes don't fit, but the Air Force ones are good on them because they are wider at the ankles. And these high tops fit good on them too. See how there's no empty space at the heels? They aren't wobbly on him. And it works better than Ken's. Seriously though, this is not really his style. Doll Channel Guru wouldn't wear these unless he was really going to go play basketball. But that's okay. We just wanted to try him on his feet. They're definitely a good fit for him. He's a power team elite doll. So if you guys have action figures with similar feet, these shoes will work. Here's Vito, he's another one of our Power Team Elite guys. His feet are different than the last guys. His foot is removable. There's a peg and it's supposed to be attachable to some flippers. It's much thicker and wider than the other figures we have. Very awkward and impossible to get him in the Ken's shoes. So let's try a pair of these ones on his feet. Maybe he can wear some shoes. It looks like it would fit cause it looks smaller. Now this foot has to be forced into the shoe cause it's a tight squeeze. But that's okay. Once it's shoved in, this is how it looks. It's like putting a shoe on over another shoe. It's a good thing these sneakers are bigger than Ken's cause this guy can finally have some shoes to wear. Sometimes you gotta go outside your usual brands to add some options to your play scale collection. You, you just gotta do it. I think it's really cool that he can wear these shoes. We thought it would be hopeless for him and we'd be stuck with those weird feet, but now that we know we can get him to fit, I'll get him some more shoes like this in the future. Next, we want to see if these shoes can fit a female figure's foot. Whoa, look at the size difference between her foot and the shoes. That's a huge difference. Zen here is on a made to move body and her foot can go in but it's way too big. Don't even look right. It's floppy and loose and it ain't gonna work. We do have other dolls with flat feet that are bigger but it's still not a good fit because the female doll bodies aren't in proportion to this shoe size. When we figure out what version of these sneakers work on female dolls, we'll be sure to tell y'all where to get them from. Who else has Jake from the Live Doll line? His feet are shaped different from Ken, but they're the same size. He got distinct toes and I wanted to see if they would fit these shoes too. Took a little maneuvering, but his foot did get inside the retros. I think the fit is pretty good. So, so here's a Disney Store Shang doll with a bigger body than Ken. His feet are way wider too. The shoes fit him good and his ankles fill out the shoes really good too. Now the real test for me was if my rap star character could wear the shoes. Those of you who follow our doll series Broken Bobby Show know about MC Smack Em Up and he was the main reason I got these shoes. His feet are a challenge to get in the Ken's shoes cause the joints are really bulky but they fit in these large shoes well, real well. The verdict, we love these shoes. The price was reasonable, but you have to pay shipping for each pair and they are sold separately. Now, the seller I tried was in China and they took forever to ship. It wasn't that the post office took a long time to get them to us. 
The seller didn't have the product until weeks after I ordered it. We literally had to threaten to cancel the order before he sent the stuff. And that was like a month after ordering it. I don't know how much longer they would have taken if I didn't contact them. And I didn't even get all my items. I ordered six pair and they sent five. What type of is that? I don't even know how long it's gonna take to get these last pair. Aside from that subpar service and shipping time, the product itself is fly. It's just like something I or my son or my daughter or my wife would wear and it's exactly what we're looking for. Because I don't feel comfortable endorsing a company that may not be all good, I don't want to mention the name of this seller on the video. So I'm going to continue to search to find a seller who's a little faster and better. And when I find that seller, I'll mention who they are to y'all. In the meantime, if you're interested in some shoes like this, my suggestion is go to eBay, put in the search bar, 1-6 scale athletic shoes or sneakers. I actually recommend you avoid this seller because I just don't trust their service. So I'll leave their name in the description for you. But remember, I said steer clear of these niggas. And for you questioning Quincy's like, well, if you said stay clear, why you putting in that nah, 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 nah? Because I don't want y'all asking me no whole bunch of questions like, yo, where you got them from? I know you said don't mess with them, but I still want to know. All right. That's why I'm saying who they are in the description. But at the end of the day, I said don't rock with them because I don't like their service. And psh, something happened. Then y'all leave in the comments like, yo, what's up with your mans in them? Because I'm warning you, I wouldn't rock with them. If you have ordered from them and you had a better experience, comment below and share that with our fantastic dog community here at Broken Barbie TV. Alright y'all, I gotta get out of here. Thanks for hanging out with me today and checking out these dope male doll sneakers. We got more great things coming your way soon. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. If you're subscribed already, make sure you hit that like button. Follow us on IG if you want to connect with us off YouTube. So that's about it. I'm Adonis. You're watching Broken Bobby TV. Have a dolly day.